he's a, he's a hundred percenter. Uh, you need a, a Franny Bernal in your side, whatever side you are. He's shown his dedication, he's shown his commitment, and he's getting his rewards tonight. I think people realise how um, big a part of Southampton Football Club Franny is. I think it's only right they've turned out. They appreciate it, and uh, fantastic for him. It was a carnival night tonight. The fans were absolutely magnificent. Franny's been here 12 years now. Two is an apprentice and ten is a pro. And you know, I always felt it was going to be a full house, and the fans have come out in force tonight, and it's been a great night for him. The has been here so many years now, and fans, you know, adore him, and so it was nice to see everyone turn up for him. He deserves it. The lads are pleased. I mean, I mean, we stayed up, which was the important thing, and obviously that the fans are repaying Fanny for keeping us in the Premier League. I think he's 100% dedicated, he's there all the time, total commitment. Franny's always very difficult to play against and my first memories of Franny's where you play against him because he loves kicking lumps out of you. Uh, he's very competitive Franny, uh, you know, you see him when he plays, he gives everything and that's what he was like in training. You knew, uh, if uh, Franny wasn't in your side in training you'd, you'd come off with a few bruises. It's a tribute to Francis that all these lads have wanted to come and turn out sure. and uh, he is what testimonials were invented for. Good evening and welcome to Francis Benali's testimonial match here at the Dell. A game to honour a player who's given his entire football career to Southampton Football Club over the last decade. The crowd love him and they turned out in their droves tonight to honour him. And why not? What a career he's had here at the Dell. And the players who are here to help him celebrate this evening, Alan Shearer's down, Tim Flowers, Richard Hall, stars who have gone on and left Southampton, Shearer the Footballer of the Year, and the crowd, well obviously they've turned out for Benali, but what a night it should be. The stars have showed out as well, and we're all looking forward to a tremendous evening for Francis Benali. <laughs> This is Jim Machilton. Inside him is Benali again pushing forward. And Leticia picks it. Oh dear. What was that between Machilton? Oh, he's gone in again. Referee can't have seen that. This is Berkovic. Good foot on Machilton just stroking it in now. Southampton building sweetly. Bernard, ooh, reflection now off Richard Hall, has it been? This is 
Graham Sines. Sines gets it back from Heaney. Sweet Lily knocked it square. Kevin Moore now, centre circle. This is Mark Dennis. Dennis in oceans of space. Jimmy Case wants it. Oh, Letitia got up well. This is Shearer. Lovely goal from Alan Shearer. What a sweet build up there. Lovely cross in from Mark Dennis. And Shearer really enjoyed the finish after Letitia just knocked it down for him. Two old mates combining for the first goal. And the visitors lead by one goal now. Just six minutes gone here at the Dell. Mitchell. Ghost passes man. Not under any real pressure as you expect in a testimonial match, but everyone thoroughly enjoying themselves. This is Flowers knocking out to Richard Hall and Jimmy Case now can just build things again for the visitors. Beautiful evening. Everyone in shirt sleeves really. Lovely sunny evening and Graham Souness picks up all the Saints. Lovely pass through the ball to Nunes throughout his entire career. Can mix it up, but really a lovely footballer. Benali. He's put it back to his keeper, the former Barnet man, Mike Taylor, who's was so impressive when I saw him early in the season at Barnet. You felt he had to have a move to a bigger club. And he really has looked the part since he's arrived here. Mitchell to Van Garbel. Can Southampton get the equaliser? Lovely run from Van Gobel again. He's still got it. Berkovic. Oh, Berkovic is in here, surely. Berkovic ties it up. Delightful move forward and Berkovic took full advantage. He skipped in behind them and dinked it in the corner, a one all. Van Gobel on the far side, he was the man who really burst forward, it was his buccaneering run that set it up. This looks like big Dave Besant on for Southampton, it is Dave Besant. Look at the run he's having here. But the fans love that. The ball was out on the far side. It's a throw in and Van Gobel will take it for Southampton. Berkovic the scorer once it. Plays it short though to Madison. And Gobel got out of that well. He's still got it under pressure from Osman. Just turns away. He's got Madison with him. And this is Berkovic again. Oh, it's not made his manager. It won't go down too well. This is Van Gobel. Ooh. Had to be tidied up by Richard Hall. So Van Gobel is making a major impression in this testimonial, especially coming forward. And it's a corner on this near side. Benali will take it. Plays it short. That's a decent cross. Big Dave's in trouble. <laughs> I think he's okay. I think he is. He's won a free kick though. There's about six or seven Southampton players around it. That's for dangerous to play, obviously. It's an indirect free kick. But Jilton's over it, so's Berkovic. Neil Madison's there. The wall doesn't look convincing at the moment. There's two balls for South for the visitors. And this is Benali. Ooh. Francis Benali with a sweet, a low left foot shot, easily dealt with though by Tim Flowers. It's one all. Benali's testimonial match. Shearer pings it out wide to Letitia. The two men who combined earlier on for the select 11 goal. 
The Tizia phase into Heaney, but Berkovic was there before him. and then Gobble bursting forward again. Half tackle by Osman. And this is Graham Sunes. Sunes still looking very fit. Just dinks it forward to Jimmy Case. Case who only quit playing about a year or so ago. So he, uh, he must have had a career well over the 20 years, Jimmy Case. And he still looks uh, in terrific condition. Kevin Moore. Richard Hall, who hasn't played that many games this season due to that terrible injury he picked up pre-season at West Ham. But what an impact he made in the last five or six games of the season for the Hanamers. This is Heaney. Osman fires forward with his left. Shear is away again. <laughs> what a nice the money they sing. Where's he heard that before, Alan Shearer? 15 million pounds. He left uh, the Dell, what, four or five, six seasons ago for th over three million. Great seasons at Blackburn, League Championship medal. And now Footballer of the Year again at Newcastle in his first season. This is Dave Besson. Cuts in on his right peg. Will you ever dig Besson? <laughs> What's going on there between Besson and Richard Hall? spot anyway here we go Southampton select 11 building on the right pinged across towards Shearer Shearer knocks it down dinked in this is Letitia turns nicely under pressure from Dryden tidied up by Jason Bard referee keeps his hands firmly behind his back I think there was an appeal for a penalty and this is Van Gobble bursting forward for Southampton good speed Gets it back to Berkovic, but Kevin Moore read it beautifully. And Moore just trots over the halfway line. This is Gray. Can he get the cross? And he's well there. And Dryden just tidies up for Southampton. Jim the Chilton. Benalla burst forward that's a good looking ball Jim Chilton dinked in oh yes now we love that just where he wanted it on his forehead <laughs> and barely bumped into the corner Southampton lead then by two goals to one Ian Dow with the scorer Turned by Letitia, he's still got it, he's got Case inside him, oh, didn't need him, party piece from Letitia and he teases Jason Dodd, he loved that. Pure seal from Letitia, 
the Saints fans have loved this over the years and he's turning it on here again tonight 2-2 Two -two. Side was it? Yeah, Linesman keeps his flag down on the Tissier again. Cuts inside Dodd. Still got it. Oh yes, uses his body really. Used his body really well there, the Tissier, and smacked it in. Taylor was right behind him. picks it up again he's seeing an awful lot of the ball in the last few minutes Matt Letizia inside him is Heaney Heaney gives it away to Magill but Letizia's got it back still Letizia still Letizia oh tidied up well oh, Taylor was a bit casual there Benali thumps it forward. Osman plays it forward to Graham Sunes. Sunes two footed. Doesn't matter if it's left or right for Graham Sunes. Great example to youngsters coming through in the game Sunes who play with just the one foot and it's so important to be two footed this is Russell Osman ball out throw in and Benali will take it here on the left hand side pings it down the line this is big Dave Besson Besson seeming to be Thoroughly enjoying his outfield role. Benali. This is Ian Dowie. 2 2. Van Gobble dinks in. Good, good looking cross. Headed behind by Richard Hall. So we're not that close to, not that far away from half time, and Southampton have a corner on the left. Madison plays it into Benale. This is Benale again. Will he dig one? Changes his mind. Thought he was going to hit that with his right. He does. Oh, yes. He hit him with his right peg. Lovely goal. He loved that. Francis Benale. That's the icing on the cake for him. Nobody really thought he'd hit that with his right foot. He threatened to hit it with his left. Nobody came to him. And he bent it in the top corner. He can't believe it. Peach of a goal from Francis Benale. 3-2 then to Southampton. Case leaves it to Leticia. Leticia just plays it in short now to Case. No challenge. And he fires it out left hand side. Gray. Can he get the cross in? Dinks inside his man. Given away though. That was careless. And Majil fires it out toward Dave Besson. I think that was the half time whistle. But Besson's had a crack anyway. Yes, it was. It's half time. Southampton, who trailed through a sheer goal after just five minutes, lead now by three goals to two. What a great goal. What a great way to start the game. 
don't know where he's uh, I don't know where Franny's pulled that one, but I've never seen a hit one like that in 10 years. Well, maybe he's been using the wrong foot. <laughs> Obviously he has. What about that goal? Brilliant. I was actually tired for that. I was definitely tired. It was a brilliant... I've never seen him kick a ball like that with his right foot in his life before. Does he score goals in training? No, nah, not from what I can remember. I don't think he ever scored past me in training, so that's a first for him. Well, on a light-hearted note, Franny said he was trying to pick me out on the far post, but it bent in the top corner. But, I mean, for him to, to not score for 260-odd games and then put one right in the top corner past a keeper like Tim Flowers, who really had no chance. It was uh, an unbelievable goal, especially with his right foot. Franny Bernardi. Oh, Franny, yeah. Unbelievable. Never seen that all in my life. I've been, I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> been here a long while. That, that right foot's never scored a goal, but it's great for him. He deserves thoroughly the crowd tonight. He's been yeah. a fantastic servant. It's just that I'm really feeling the effects of not being a goalkeeper. It's getting really hard, and I think I can just about manage the last 45 minutes. I'm going to do it for Franny. <laughs> So Alan Shearer gets ready to start the second half for the All-Stars. Kevin Moore plays it out wide. Southampton lead by three goals to two. And big day Essendon does well there. Knocks forward. Dowie's deep. Given away though. this year hounded by Dave Besson <laughs> having a bit of a laugh by the touchline typical of the spirit the match is being played in ball picked up on the far side now by Baker for the select 11 this past his man this is Jimmy Case not a bad effort from Jimmy Benali, given away by Francis Benali, tidied up by Jimmy Case. A bit of up and tumble there in the middle of the pile. Ball's broken wide now to Benali. Benali just measures it in. That was a delightful ball. Good save by Tim Flowers. And Southampton can build again now with Besson. Ken Moncow honours it as for Southampton. Ball, oh, Richard Hall made a mistake there. And was that young Steve Basham on the end of it? Yes, it was. Congratulated all round. And that'll be a lovely moment for the youngster in front of people like Alan Shearer who've gone on to such great things from Southampton and Steve Basham scores a goal that Shearer would have been proud of really he finished it really well Jim Majer plays it in short now to Berkovic. 4-2 Southampton lead. Lovely control by Benali. He'll be enjoying the night. Simon Charlton. Charlton plays out wide now. short to Jim McGill. Hughes picks up again. Nice run by him. Dave Besson cuts it in on his left. More left that. Richard Hall tidies it up. Midfield now with Tommy Widrington. Bursting forward. Alan Shearer. What can he do? Flashes inside to Case. Good chest control. Letizia drifts past Charlton. Still Letizia out wide. It, out wide of him now. On the right hand side is Baker. Can he get the cross in? Yes he can. Flicked away by Madison. Drops for Alan Shearer. Takes his time. Fires in with his right. And Ian Dowie who seems to be playing in central defensive role in the second half. Did really well there Dowie and just controlled it on his chest. And McGilton can fire out wide. He's over to hit the pass. Sticky 
stuff there from Russell Osman and Berkovic now though has it for Southampton Simon Chart to Benali this is Ken Moncow that was a good looking ball by Moncow Oof. David Hughes very close to getting on the end of that one here's Letitia Eight is Woodrington. And Ian Dow, he just puts it forward toward David Hughes. This is Madison. Dave Besson, that's a good looking cross! Lovely build-up play there by Dave Besson. Ken Moncow applauds the cross. That was given away. Enid couldn't take advantage. And Baker's done really well for the select 11. Ball forward towards Letizia. Letizia's away. Surely he'll make it 4-3. Takes his time. Oh, Letiz, come on! Right to feed into Alan Shearer when he really should have gone alone. Or was it Flowers alongside him? I think it could have been Flowers. Still, Southampton have it now. They lead 4 2. Berkovic to Simon Charlton. Here's Dowie. Decent looking ball across. If Besson can get there, yes, he can. Dave Besson, right footed, sweeping ball, picked up by Basham, this is David Hughes, being given plenty of space, and Richard Hall in goal now for the select, for Southampton, plays it out to Flowers. Shearer pulls it beautifully down on his chest. Letitia! This time he makes no mistake. And Flowers in a desperate hurry to get the ball back to the halfway line. Four goals to three now. Southampton lead. We've got three keepers on the field of play now because Mike Taylor's doing a marking job, I think, on Alan Shearer. Is Jim Magill for Southampton. The Irishman who started his career at Liverpool. Jimmy Case, who spent so many years, distinguished years at Anfield. And of course at the Dell. Ball played back to Gray, who hoists forward. Now he gets above the Tissier. And this is Neil Heaney for Southampton. He plays inside. Shearer, long way from goal. Plays it to Osman. Jimmy Case now, centre circle. Case. Kevin Moore just plays it forward. But this year's control lets him down for once. Kept him well on the far side. Can Kevin Moore get back? Lovely touch from Besson. Moncow, Besson, will he dig one this time? Oh, off the crossbar. Chance to get. <laughs> Besson tried to. Fire the rebound back in, but he got it all wrong. But what a good effort first time by the big, the former Wimbledon keeper. Made his name by saving that penalty in the FA Cup final. Way back in, I think 1988 it was, against Liverpool. This is Jim McGilton. McGilton, renowned for his long distance shooting. Under pressure though, thinks the ball back towards Hughes. And Dowie has it now for Southampton. Plays it forward. Easily cut out. And Heaney can break away now for the select 11. Moncow chasing back with him. Shearer turns in on his right foot. It's a fine pass, but this year. 
easily dealt with. And Taylor just knocks it off towards Charlton, who couldn't control the ball. And Alan Shearer, he could bend one in from here. Oh! He's lost it, Madison. It definitely, oh, I think it crossed the line before Flowers got there. But he may claim it, the keeper. Shearer smashed it in low. Madison got both hands behind it. It spun in behind him. And that's four goals each now. We're underway. I don't think the Southampton boys realise it, or has the ref called it back? Flowers claims the goal. Has he given it the ref? I'm not sure if the ref's given him this. I think he has done. Well, a bit of confusion here. I'm not sure if the referee has given that goal. If he has, they lead by five goals to four. <laughs> and we're having a real laugh now as Dave Besson drives them all forward. He can make it five each here, Besson. He's given it. I think the ref's given that one as well. So a goal at either end. It was 4-4. Four, four. Flowers made it 5-4 at the other end for the select 11 and Dave Besson has got the 10th goal of the evening at 5-5 now. Matissia drifts past two or three. Dowie interrupts his progress. Majil, another Northern Irishman, picks the ball up. Minutes places a ball. Here goes Besson. Can he keep it in? He's done well. Besson, left hand side. Score already this evening. McGill. It's five all. Dinks past his man. Hughes is dispossessed by Osman. And Jimmy Cage can now just ping this one away. Deep into Southampton territory. Away goes Tim Flowers looking for his second of the evening. Big Mike Taylor, another keeper that comes across and just whips it off his toe. And away to go Southampton again. Better. He's got the Jilton to the side of him. Does he need it? Slips it further on to David Hughes. Benali. Good effort again by Basham. Must be enjoying the evening, the youngster. Sooness just using the night to have a look at one or two of the youngsters coming through at the Dell. And away goes Flowers now. Tim Flowers, can he cut inside his man? Squares it. The this year for the hat trick at Shawnee. Madison read it well. Don't think it was going in anyway, to be fair. And this is David Hughes now for Southampton. Charlton. Besson's got it again. He's looked pretty good out the field. Big day. Problems for more. Besson's got another one. He thanks Kevin Moore, and uh, you can't really blame him. Moore's hesitation, and Besson just came trundling into the box. And that's 6-5 to Southampton and two for the big goalkeeper. So what can Letizia and Shearer do about this? 6-5 down.
Chilton. Oh, that's a decent ball through. Or is he? That's a good cross. <laughs> Tremendous speed by Tim Flowers and Leticia, to be fair, should have completed his hat trick. <laughs> Benali, Southampton lead by six goals to five. Come the select eleven. The Tissier shrugs off his man. Delightful skill again from the big man. The Tissier, right foot, left foot, doesn't matter. Thinks out wide. This is Heaney. He's got two or three players outside him. This is Shear. Is it Widrington? It is Tommy Widrington. <laughs> Lovely goal. Inspired by the Tissier. Decent cross in. And there was Widrick to tuck it under the keeper as he came out. <laughs> this is Heaney. This is in goal now. We've seen quite a few keepers tonight. That's a good effort. Find it in there by Baker. Madison dinks forward. Good cross. Flowers. What a good stop from Letizia. Fired away by Dowie. Ball's coming back toward Letizia again. Widrington. Shearer must be. He's done it again, Letizia. What a good stop with his feet. Shearer can't believe it. Here comes Southampton again. Come on, Cow. Two brilliant saves on the trot from Letizia. Southampton building. Got out well. I think it was Gray who got the interception in. This is near side it is Neil Heaney. Heaney slows it down. Jimmy Case, who's kept going really well throughout the game, but gives that away. comes Besson, score of two goals tonight. Ball chest down and well by McGill, gives it away though, and Russell Osman. Osman and bolts it forward. Good header down by Shearer, way above Ian Dowie. And Tommy Widrington. Widrington through to Flowers, Flowers it against Letitia. Oh! Now he's just trying to lob the keeper. Saw him way off his line. Didn't quite get it right. again good looking cross oh smashed over the top by David Hughes so it's end to end action all all night long we've seen 11 12 goals and the crowd have loved every minute of it. It's been a great night for Francis Benali, who drops across now to take this throw in. Benali scored a goal himself just before half time, and he really has had an excellent evening to mark what really has been a memorable career for him at Southampton. Ten years here, and the crowd have responded really well to him.
throughout his career and tonight they've honoured him by turning up in their thousands. They've seen pots of goals. Here's Besson. Besson is he going to be given a chance to complete the hat-trick. Kevin Moore dispossesses him. Besson's back at it. Heaney fires it out toward Baker. Just about keeps it in play. Hoists it forward toward Tim Flowers. Good ball control. Flowers. Shooting's been slightly off tonight, Tim Flowers, to be fair to him. One just over the top of the crossbar, and that one, well, it must have been at least 15, 18 yards wide. Benali. Pings it over toward Mike Tate. Russell Osman ties up. This is Jimmy Case. It'd be great to see him lash one. Case thinks it in. Toward Whittington, his case. Keeps it in, lashes it long toward Ken on Cow. Up goes the Dutchman. Jimmy Case clears it up for the select 11. Brings it forward toward Widrington. Tommy takes his time, fires it out toward the left. Onto the chest of Alan Shearer. Shearer goes at Dowie. Oh! Referee! has given a free kick, rightly so. Now we're lucky to get away with that one. Thought the card was going to come out for a moment. And Shearer saw him bed one for Newcastle in for this range against Wimbledon on the first day of the season. Oh! Nearly did the same thing. It's been another great season for Alan Shearer. And he's really enjoying himself before he teams up with the England squad to go out to Poland and don't forget the match against South Africa coming up as well you should have stayed at Southampton this singing what an advert he was though for the Southampton youth policy Alan Shearer here's Tommy Widrington Widrington knocks it very long here is Shearer Surely he'll lash this one in. Now inside him, Flowers! <laughs> what can you say about that? Flowers can't believe it. Letitia's pulled off another brilliant stop from him. And Neil Madison goes out to take this corner kick. We can't be far from the end. Madison in toward Jimmy Case. Case plays it short. Tim Flowers, he's desperate to get it. He has got one! Flowers has got another one. I make that 6-6. Six, six. And he's absolutely loving it. So we've had goals from Flowers. We've had a couple from... Dave Betton, Alan Shearer has been on the score sheet, so is Matt Letizia with a couple, but most importantly tonight, without a doubt, the goal from Francis Benali just before half-time. It's been a terrific evening for all. Good football, now Besson, who's moved back into the sweeper position after he's done the damage further forward. Sweetly knocks it forward. Simon Charles in the second half for the Saints plays it short to Benali who's been on from the start McGilton so is he Chance for Jim McGilton he's flashed one in that's 7-6 to Southampton and all hell's broken loose in the 
All-Stars goal. Good crack between Richard Horn and Jim McGill, two former mates. And Southampton lead now by seven and goal to six. Are we going to get time to take this centre? Here's Dylan Flowers. He wants more goals. He's going through again, Flowers. Was that a penalty? I think the referee's given it. Penalty kick to the All-Stars. Leighton trip from Letizia and... Dave Besson pushing forward again on the left. This is Dowie. So it's been a party atmosphere all night long here at the Dell. Besson gets the cross in. Mike Taylor must be envious of Tim Flowers' hat trick. Trying to get on the score sheet himself. The big Southampton keeper. Here's Shearer. Fired out long toward Madison. That was good control. Jimmy Case. All attacks now seem to be ending. Oh! Leticia, what a start! Well, Flowers is really making hay here, but Leticia denied him that time with a terrific stop. Full stretch. Here's Jimmy Case. you're making it look easy this goalkeeping job forward now to Mike Taylor Taylor what's he going to do yes he's got his man here leaves it for Taylor who wants to get in on the score sheet Taylor And Mike Taylor's shot into the stands is the final action tonight for Francis Benali's testimonial. It's been a terrific night for him, 10 years at Southampton and all the former stars, Tim Flowers embraces him. Nielsen's over, they're all just coming in, they know it's Francis Benali's night, the crowd have thoroughly enjoyed it. Loads of goals, I make it around 14 went into the net and Francis Benali himself got one of them just before the break. Alan Shearer comes over and embraces Benali as well. Terrific night for him and his family. Southampton has been his life really in professional football for the last decade. Just over. And Francis Benali is saluted by everybody at the Dell. They've enjoyed his contribution throughout the years and they've turned up in their droves tonight just to pay their tribute to him. It's been a terrific occasion. The goals have fired in. We've had three from Flowers, a couple from Big Dave Besson, and the stars have showed up as well. Alan Shearer got us off and underway after five minutes. And from that moment on, the goals flowed thick and fast in this Southampton versus the Southampton Select 11. Marvellous night for Benali. He's thoroughly enjoyed it, subbed the crowd. And Matt Letizia as well has proved himself a pretty useful goalkeeper in the last few minutes. And Francis Benali kisses the turf that has served him so well over the years.
blows the kisses all round. He's been a great servant and the whole world loves a trier and Francis Benali has been that throughout his entire career. Benali takes the applause as the match ends approximately Southampton 7, the select 11 7. He's on to the percent, you know, and uh, this is the sort of reward you get when you're that sort of player. He's a player that everybody's got. And he's a good defender, he's a solid defender, and um, please from tonight because you know, we have a special night from him. Atmosphere is what you expect on a night like this. I'm, I'm chuffed with this that uh, everyone turned out in, in the fourth side here. Um, it was a dream to get you know, a, a full house and uh, people coming to watch you know, the, the sort of players that were back on show here tonight. I hope they... Uh, Went home happy. Great night, yeah, a lot of fun. Um, uh, the people were going to go home happy. They saw a lot of goals uh, and some good entertainment. Um, we're all friends as well. Very much so, yeah. yeah it was yeah. nice of uh, everybody coming down for Granite. Uh, just to show what, what a great lad he is because people are prepared to do that one. Well, very funny, obviously, he was here when I first came as, a, as an 18 year old uh, from the autumn. He was, he was a quiet lad and he played up front at the time. I remember he had an unbelievable disciplinary record. He was up in Lancaster to get before Mark Dennis even, so that was, you know, that was, that was right his setting. But uh, he was a really polite lad, very unassuming, you know, very kind. And to be fair, we all got on very well. We, we was a, you know, the, those young lads come through the ranks together. Neil Madison. Neil Madison, Matt Latide, Rod Wallace, uh, Shearer, you know, just, I mean, there's endless amounts that have come through. Um, yeah, and then Franny was a, a lovely fella. Fondest memory was uh, the way he was so upset, uh, I think, after his unlucky back pass uh, the other week. And he showed so much passion afterwards to come back from that and play the way he has done. It's been superb. If anyone deserves a follow for the yeah, commitment and honesty and, and dedication shown to uh, Southampton Football Club over the years, then it's, it's Franny Benali. And uh, he's had his rewards tonight by the, the, the fans turning out in the thousands. It was a dream, I mean, just saying that we had Hayes on the back of the neck, we were standing up quite a few times there, and uh, it was brilliant, the fans were superb, and all the lads that came down to play were, were, were brilliant as well, um, and uh, hopefully they've given the fans something to smile about tonight.